Welcome to Viavi Solutions Certifier User Training. Lesson 4, Labeling and List-Based Testing. At the end of this training session, you will be able to set up automatic labeling on the certifier and use JReporter Label Generator to perform list-based tests with the certifier. Each test result must have a label assigned to it. While there are standards for labeling, many users prefer a custom method to label various copper and fiber runs being tested. The certifier provides great flexibility in labeling. There are several cable label source options available on the certifier. Users can create label lists using JReporter software and then import them into the certifier. When none is selected as the label source, users are required to manually enter each label name for each test to be saved. Simple Cable Label This provides a simple numeric increment with a set prefix such as alpha or bravo. To configure for a simple label cable scheme, enter the desired label name. This prefix will remain unchanged for every result. Set a numeric start value. This value will increase by one after each test saved. Template label TIA 606 Alpha Class 1 is used for single room horizontal links. This is the standard labeling scheme used mainly to support labeling for buildings or premises that serve a single equipment room or a horizontal cross connect. One alpha to alpha one generally refers to the floor and teller room and the panel and the port. In the example here, the starting label would represent the following. Floor one, telecom room alpha, panel alpha, port one. Template label TIA 606 Alpha Class 2. Single building horizontal and single building backbone cable. This standard labeling scheme mainly is used to support labeling of infrastructure with one or more telecommunication spaces in a single building. 1 Alpha dash Alpha 1 for horizontal links refers to the floor and the name of the first telecommunications room and the panel and the port. 1 Alpha slash 1 Bravo refers to the floor of the first telecommunications room and the name of the first telecommunications room. Then, the floor of the second telecommunications room and the name of the second telecommunications room. Template label TIA 606 Alpha Class 3 Campus Backbone Cable this standard labeling scheme is mainly used to support labeling for multiple buildings in a single site. Alpha dash one alpha slash bravo dash one alpha refers to the name of the first building, the floor of the first telecommunications room, and the name of the first telecommunications room. Then the name of the second building the floor of the second telecommunications room and the name of the second telecommunications room. Label source Freeform Freeform provides simple numeric increments of two or more prefixes. The default shown here starts alpha tac 1 and ends bravo tac 5. This will generate the following labels. Alpha TAC 1 through 5 and Bravo TAC 1 through 5. List based testing. Create a label with JReporter. Go to Tools, Label List Generator. Select the tab for either hierarchical or point to point. Create a list of desired labels. Export label list to USB. Import into local device. Set label source to list-based testing. Select labels to test. Import the results into JReporter. Creating a label list in JReporter. With JReporter open, 
Go to the Tools tab and select Label List Generator. Click on the tab for either Hierarchy or Point to Point. Fill out the appropriate sections as required. Exporting Label Lists to USB. After creating your desired label list, connect the USB to the PC. Export the label list to USB. Select the drive you want to use. Type the name you want to save the list as, then click Export. Eject the USB drive. Importing label list to local device. Press the Setup button on the local device. Plug the USB drive into the local device. Select the label list you want to import. Then press Copy Label Files. The label list is now loaded onto the certifier and ready to be used. Selecting a label list for testing. Press the Setup button. Then press Project Settings. Label Source. List-based testing. Select the custom label list you want to use. Performing list-based testing. Configure the test and the project settings. For example, set the limit of the test, the cable and connector being used, the site, and of course the label source. Connect to the cable to be tested. Press the auto test button to display the loaded cable list. Select the desired label from the list to begin auto test. The certifier will automatically save passing results and return to the list or allows you to manually save or conduct a retest of failed results. Connect to the next cable to be tested and select the corresponding cable ID from the list. Repeat until all cables have been tested. Label lists can be sorted by pass-fail or the cable ID. Select a tested label to view the results. A green result indicates pass and a red result indicates fail. A retest can be conducted by pressing retest. Press the auto test button to return to the list. Available resources. Press the tools button on the certifier. Then tap the about us icon. If you have any additional questions, please visit our website or call technical assistance. Thanks for watching.